the furry fandom the was definitely all over this when it was first announced. Hey, listen, listen, listen. I didn't know about this until today. Don't you be calling me the fuck out. But he's got a point. Ah! What? Oh my god, what the fuck? That way, I would have had some good reason to actually start playing Call of Duty again. Apparently, there was some sort of wolf character skin that Call of Duty released that apparently was plagiarized. Like, it's just, it's a dog. That's that's it. I am silent. I'm the original artist that the upcoming COD Vanguard Samoid skin was plagiarized from. I only just found out at the time of the announcement that my work was plagiarized. Even though I'm also a COD player, I'm very disappointed to see my work being plagiarized by a big company like Activision in this way. I've reached out to Activision for an explanation and or compensation, and hopefully the situation will be settled soon. As an individual artist, I can only do so much, and I have to speak out about this, stop things like this happening in the future. That is so fucking unfortunate. This skin looks hella cool, though. Like, genuinely, if, like, Call of Duty released this and there weren't the issues that they're having with it now, I would have genuinely gone back to Call of Duty just for this skin. It's adorable. Mercenaries of Fortune. Really, this is what Call of Duty is pushing now? Not, like, I, I feel like the base game should be, like, it, but, like, they're, they're still pushing just skins. Oh, this is the pack. Oh, of course, you know, you got to use COD points to buy this. <laughs> Of course you gotta spend money for this. Why wouldn't you be able to just log on to the game that you just purchased to get this? You know how many, you know how much money 2,400 COD points is? That's like give or take 20 bucks. You're spending 20 bucks for an online dog. I could go out right now and pick up a Tamagotchi for like not even $5. So is this the original that this person did? Oh, it is. Oh. Oh yeah, no, that's... <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, that's pretty plagiarized. That's like, they really couldn't make like, they couldn't make something either original, like based off this or even just like, you know, contact the artist. I feel like contacting the artist would like, if anything, that would make things a bit better. I can't say, I, I hate to say it, but I can't say I'm surprised in this case. But still, I mean, true, for them, that's like thinking about it this way. Wait a minute, we have a department that we're already paying, where it's like, well, we're already paying them to make this. Why would we pay more money to make this? You're already making fucking money off of this shit as... I hate Activision. Oh! Oh, they do more! This is actually really fucking cool. So this person does more of these. That's actually really sick. I don't know who, like, this concept artist is, but this is awesome. This is adorable as fuck. What else do they have? Oh! Oh, that's adorable! Look at the little Sheba with like the little submachine gun. This is a. <laughs> I just realized, Oh, look at that cute little animal with a gun. Oh, it's so cute. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, <laughs> in like context, this doesn't feel good at all. But honestly, th this is pretty adorable. Cute but dangerous. It's a water gun. I want a water gun like this. You kidding me? Where do I get one of these? Oh my God, this is, this is awesome. They've got like a whole universe put together for this. I like it. Whoever this artist is, is putting together some sort of like universe of these like dogs or animals as like I, I guess call of duty characters but even like look at the little bows and like the hint of pink here and there that's cute oh i don't know if like this would ever happen but i could totally see this being a payday 2 skin oh my god this is like really cute i know i'm just like scrolling through these and i know we're like derailing from the original issue with like activision and all that but like this is really cute. This is fucking cool. Like seriously, how do you come up with this stuff? I can't even figure out if sometimes I want to get out of bed in the morning. Like, and here this person is making all this happen. That's fucking insane. These are still pretty cool too. Like the tattoo here, my God. That's sort of what we went over here. I guess they were just linking their like art station and all that, which is pretty good. COD Vanguard looks increasingly stupid. Dumb cosmetics rant. Oh, Prestige, I, I love watching Prestige. He has some good info on stuff. Hold on, let me, let me turn off the music. I want to watch this. Seriously? They couldn't have just like asked like the artist and given them compensation for it. Like really, what, what would it have cost? I don't know anything about business, but like they would have gotten a lot more, a lot of fucking money from this cosmetic. Yeah, the they made a few changes to like together. the model to like try to cover change. it up. It just, it wasn't transformed enough. So personally, <laughs> I love the lingering message here. Yeah, plagiarize, but make sure that you get away with it. Make sure you plagiarize sure. properly. <laughs> Probably used this image as a reference image. Probably said, yeah, that's a cool at, idea for an operator. How at the very least, that? a reference. Yeah, that's being very gracious. Is, There's a difference between using a reference and just... Game, never mind. 
Alternatively, what they could end up doing is just removing it temporarily, removing any reference of what it used to look like, and then turning around and transforming it into something completely different from the original concept that was... Now, hold on. That's asking a lot there. That's asking Activision to dish out a, a bit more money. That's ballsy to ask Activision to change something. It's Look, like little thing, I'm just saying. Back when I was in the COD community, and this was like seven, eight years ago, the whole slogan for what we called Activision... Activision is spelt with a dollar sign, okay? And that's what we called it before. Still holds true nearly a decade later. I just want I just want you to know that in this case, still holds true. The Shadows of Evil Max Ammo logo was removed because it originally came from a cover of a Lovecraft book. This is what that Max Ammo oh, logo dude, looks like. Oh, dude, come on. That's even worse. <laughs> That's even worse. Like you didn't, you didn't even change that. You just went inspect tell them. You just took it all out in Photoshop. I was wondering because that looked familiar. I'm like, huh? I remember that Max Ammo logo, and then it was gone. That's just outright <laughs> ripped off. <laughs> Plenty more instances of this happening. With <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. Why are they allowed to do that? <laughs> Look, it's Activision. They're at the point where they can't even get the money from like the base game sales. They need even more of it to come from microtransactions. So they're hitting up all the demographics. Horror lovers, Cthulhu lovers, conspiracy theory lovers, weebs, furries. They're going all out. This isn't even just like one. Okay, here's the thing. If this was like the first and only time they did it. Like, I'd understand, like, you know, sweep it under the rug, you know, don't mention it again. But this is <laughs> literally a case of them doing it over years. They did it in Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare, Vanguard, probably even before that, that we don't even know. Nothing's ever original anymore. Let's just, let's just keep it to that. Unfortunately, you know, these designs are like 10 out of 10. Are, are these artists probably going to get paid for it? No. And, and were they in this case? No. If Sale doesn't want anything to do with Activision, which is totally understandable, <laughs> I'm sure that Activision yeah. can write enough zeros on a check to possibly purchase this concept art if it isn't already being used no. in another project. No, they're and not. If no, there's no way they're doing it. There's they've already done this dozens if not hundreds of times like Prestige has said. So like there's no way that they're going to dish out more money to make this happen. Why am I not surprised Activision doing that? But at the same time, I would have loved this skin. I, I would have loved this. Like, even if I don't play Call of Duty Vanguard, and I probably won't, especially now. But, like, I would have loved this. It's just adorable. That would be a new concept. Literally, though, I don't think they're going to release any other anthropomorphic animal skin. I think, if anything, Activision is going to take another example from another artist or whatever. Probably, like, a furry artist. Or even, like, a DH gate fur suit. That's my next bet. I'm putting money on this. The next anthropomorphic skin, if they release one, it is going to be some play on the DH gate fur suits. The, like, the bootleg, reproduced, like, copied fur suits from current, like, fur suiters. And they're going to take that design and they're going to put it on an operator skin like this. That is probably what Call of Duty or Activision or Vanguard or whatever is going to be doing next. But honestly, though, outside of the whole, like, furry skin or whatever, this is just adorable. This is a cute skin. I'd feel bad about either playing as the skin and then dying in the game or, like, killing other people with the skin in the game. But, like, it's a, it's a cute dog. Look at the dog. It's adorable. But either way, that's the T, I guess. I don't know what else there is to it. Just don't steal. Like, that's just what it is. Don't, don't, also don't do the thing of like, don't steal. And also like, only cheat if you don't get caught. Don't do that either. Just ask for permission at the very least. You know, if they ask for compensation to say, hey, I can't pay for that. So I won't use your stuff, but still thanks. It's okay to just ask and say no later. It is literally okay. That's how marketing works. Whatever.